Thank you for starting off, sir. <clears throat> um, I'd like to start off, first of all, by uh, thanking Kenny Gibson for bringing this to the uh, less than packed chamber today, but nonetheless, uh, lots of people will be watching this uh, from afar, no doubt, and uh, paying a close interest in what BT's plans are in this. Like, like him, I also engaged with BT to get some background as to what their plans are and also to uh, get a better understanding of, of why they were doing what they were doing. Um, clearly, it's essential that um, any changes to payphones do not hinder the important community needs of a pay uh, call box, such as emergency, access and emergency services, but more importantly, in places where there is no other means of contacting people where there's poor uh, mobile coverage. Uh, Kenny Gibson's motion um, states a fair point that while people do use still pay phones, the adoption of smartphones has dramatically increased in recent years. Uh, in the last decade, payphone usage has dropped by over 90%, and that's no small figure. <clears throat> in fact, some phone boxes are used by less than a dozen people a year, and anecdotally, some phone boxes are used by no one at all. So, as is often the case with these things, you don't miss something until it's gone. So usage has very much a big part to play in the decision-making uh, process, I have no doubt. Uh, to comment on the motion itself, uh, BT did want to make clear, however, that of the uh, in terms of removing specific payphones from North Ayrshire, um, there will be 84 remaining in North Ayrshire, uh, which is slightly more than the 35 stated in the motion. Nonetheless, uh, there will still be a loss of payphones in that part of the world. I also should declare that I live in North Ayrshire and uh, on occasion have been known to use a phone box when uh, uh, my mobile is either out of battery or out of coverage, and that unfortunately still happens uh, more than too often. Um, BT have said that absolutely they wouldn't remove a payphone that has been identified as a social need payphone, and they have set some quite clear criteria for that. Um, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Gibson outlined the criteria uh, in terms of the location and the usage of where those pay boxes are, and if that criteria is met, then a kiosk cannot be removed, and I think that's the right thing to do. It's also worth pointing out that BT consults with local authorities on any proposed removals, uh, and if uh, that authority uh, is against that, then that will be taken into account. So that second level of scrutiny is, is important as well. Um, I think moving on to the issue of the uh, adopt a kiosk scheme, I think you know, really what we're talking about here is finding alternative uses for things that have been made redundant. And some of, not there are many red phone boxes left, uh, uh, but uh, those that are, are certainly worth preserving uh, to their fullest. Uh, when I did a quick internet search of some of the uses of uh, adopt a kiosk. I was quite bemused by the images. I encourage you to have a look at what people have done the sheer ingenuity and creativity of people and what they've done with their old phone boxes. Um, they've been turned into an amazing array of purposes. In addition to some of the ones mentioned, I've seen coffee shops, uh, automated uh, coffee vending machines, salad bars, bookcases, uh, and people selling a whole wide range of uh, cottage industry products and services out of the back of a phone box. You wouldn't believe how much you can fit into a phone box. Um, so uh, I think in essence I'd like to support uh, the, um, the, the motion and that we should be careful that we're not uh, taking away vital um, uh, access to tele telecommunications points, for, especially for people in rural communities. But we also should have a think about today the fact that not everyone owns a mobile phone. And mobile phones can be prohibitively expensive for people. So even if coverage is available, and I know we'll probably hear on the uh, ambitious plans that the Scottish Government has on ensuring that we do have full connectivity in Scotland, um, mobile phone coverage, like uh, internet access to many, is, is still unaffordable. And uh, the, the, therefore, the, the, the simple um, uh, uh, phone box is a, a cheap and alternative solution to people to make calls. Uh, and, and many people still use them and rely on them for that, that form of, of uh, accessing uh, and, and calling people. So I would say that any removals are done have, should follow the strict process that BT put in place. Um, and clearly, the, any that are removed are ones that have been identified that are simply not being used by the public. I do encourage people to engage in consultations around this. Uh, the old user or loser adage is very important, so I encourage people, if there is one, uh, do make use of it before it may be too late. I urge people in Ayrshire to think about the Adopt Kiosk scheme uh, and some of the creative things that we could do with any that are decommissioned. Uh, and I look forward to seeing the results of that. Thank you.